Hello everyone, Dope and Rope here. Welcome back to Projects on Boyd. I'm going to crack on. We've got so much to do. Get my TV program. Probably going to be cooking again. Still need to read the next cooking book to actually make proper use of it, but pff, I don't even know if I got the bloody thing. What is it, rabbit? Yeah, something to do with rabbit, so that's going to be cooking. Right. I presume, yeah, here we go. Okie dokie. Get that done. Top up my water bottle. What have I got on me? I've got some crisps, so I'll keep the... I still need to take all my shit indoors, but I'll probably do that off camera, to be honest. Because it's going to be such a hassle. But I don't know, Let's see how it goes. Right, the plan was... Ah, oh, more fog, right. To go grab that van. Maybe take the van, once I put some gas in. Like fill it up completely at the pet, like the gas station, and then I was going to hit this stuff because I think there's a good amount of shit down here. I'm hoping I can find it because like you can you can come across like crates with books in. You might find like a van down there with books in. So I'm hoping I'll find the books, just a load of books, like the metalwork in electric uh, electronics, stuff like that, because I've got so much still to do. Like, I can't hotwire cars yet, and that's normally something I prioritise, but I'm normally lucky and get the bloody right books. But, um, yeah. Gardening, like the farming and stuff, I can start doing that soon. But I've got so much, luckily, now I can turn the generators on. I can keep all the frozen foods I found. So I've got plenty of food. It's just, I want to get the books before I start doing stuff to maximise the amount of, uh, experience I get from it. Right, I'm wasting time. Right, first things first, I will... Uh, I need to get something quick, really. Let's just grab some sardines. Oh, I can't put it because it's in the bloody cupboard. Right, open that. Eat that. Then I need to go on foot. So I will take a gas can. Stick it in my backpack for now. How is my crowbar looking? Not too bad. Okie dokie. Right. Yeah, so I'll run up, get the get the van. Probably try and top it up what I can at the gas pumps. And then hit the, I don't know what you class it as, like a industrial area. Once I can get the hot wire in, I should be able to take all these vehicles. <coughs> I mean, there's only, well, a lot of it I like to use for, like, storage fuel. You won't ever use half of them before the roads are all too fucked. Initially, it'll take a while for the roads to be knackered, knackered, but eventually... I'll just have like a bloody scrapyard of cars in my base. But like I say, it's, it's mainly, it's good to have vehicles just fill up all the, the um, vehicles with fuel. And then you've got little, like, containers of fuel dotted around your base. Because I'm going to need it for the generator. I 
still so many fucking zombies. And I've killed tons. The bloody fog. Right, I know where I am. Okay. So, I should crouch and try and sneak away. Probably get him out. Stop crouching because it's too slow. Just need to add a bit of fuel, enough to drive it away. No, my luck, I'll flip the fucking van over. Right, that's where I'm going to go back down in a minute once I've topped up the gas. in such good condition I don't think it makes as much noise I'm sure some will something's going to come along and bite me in the ass but what's that one he's no no he's just lingering alright alright okay and there's nothing over oh there is because it does make some noise using the gas pump alright I'm going to have to stand up because if, if something does come I need to be able to shift quick quick Add gas from the gas pump. And then just get ready to sprint away. <laughs> oh, you fucker! You sick son of a bitch! Oh, you fucking bastard! Oh, Christ. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate fuck. Oh, you sick bastard. Right. Tried that. He was nowhere near. Right, let's try again. Jesus. My heart can't take this shit.
fucking hate that shit. Right, okay. That was horrific. <clears throat> but that's that's why I have no no music on. If you had music on then I mean, they wouldn't make much difference, but I like to think you can hear them a lot easier without the, the music playing in the background. I live in England. It might be a deer, actually. I think deer is the best for a Like a stag or whatever it is. Easier if this fucking fog could lift up. We got another light here. I'll take the light here, it's always handy. Take the magazine while I'm here. What is that? Oh, it's a radio. Is there something in here? Probably. No. Alright, this is the sort of shit. I don't know, it's the other side, but you might have needed to bring like a sledgehammer with you. But it's not too far, I can always come back there to so. It's a good chance it's open. Yeah. I know the last time I went in here it's all dog food. Like everyone was full of dog food. I was like, wow, that's fucking useful. I'll take that. Make sure nothing sneaks up on my ass. Right, I really need books though. That's the whole bloody point I'm here. I'll stop fucking around. With oh, it's this one. Yeah, it does. It's a standard. has dog food in it. Okay. Well, that's fucking useful. stuff. I should shut that. I think I can stand up. Right, let's uh, see what we got. We 
might as well read these. God knows which ones I have and haven't read. There's a door on the side now. I was gonna say just open the uh the side door up. Park the car in here. Wood glue. It's always good to get the wood glue. Alright, what have we got? Another crew bar, fuck it, yeah, I can say no. Upstairs. So I think I'd have saw him. Mechanics one, I've already got that. Some more wood glue. Cannot go wrong with wood glue. Hammer. Another crowbar. I uh, won't take it yet. Can have too many crowbars. <laughs> no, you can't. But right. Definitely heard a zombie. So there is one somewhere. Always the one little zombie creeping around. That's the one that gets you. Some bits in here. Definitely stuff to come back to. I am sweating. Why was you wearing? I think this was a leather jacket on the put that in your bloody put that on the floor. Can't really afford to a lot of stuff on there. I don't know, I'll keep it on for now. Oh, it's the fucking helicopter. Are you serious? I have not re 
ready for the helicopter. I'd have had to bring more f fucking food with me if I was going to deal with the helicopter. to my bloody it's dumb o'clock I think last time I was it stayed around to like 6 o'clock in the evening before it finally fucked off maybe even 7 so I've got 8 hours of having to deal with this thing right at least I got a full tank of gas unfortunately it's foggy which is not hover too long in that spot and you'll attract the whole street to there. So what I'd want to do is try and get straight through my base. any cars in the road, so I'm going to probably drive straight into something. It's been a while now since I've bloody played. A couple of days at least. It 
is good that it's come now, to be fair. But it always seems to come quite early. I would sort of prefer it if it came a bit later, maybe. I know it's probably worse if it does come later, but it just adds a bit more. And then again, I suppose by then they're all dead. This is like the last. I don't know, I mean, I don't know what they're fucking doing. Check it, because they're definitely following me, so they're looking at me. I suppose they're checking for survivors, blah, blah, blah. They fuck off, they don't come back. I don't know, I just think it'd be quite nice if it was a bit later in the game. Because a normal person who doesn't forget everything quite easily would uh, remember that it comes within the first few days and um, would be able to plan a course. There's that many times, and it always comes within the first fucking few weeks. I always forget. It's definitely not gone though, it's gonna come back. It tricks you. I wouldn't mind it if there was no fucking fog, but it picked... I mean, how the fuck is he flying? Let's, let's see if... Is he above the, flog, uh, above the fog? In which case, yeah, how the fuck is he even seeing anything because of the fog? If he's flying in the fog, then he should be dead. I didn't even think of that. He shouldn't be out. Like a severe weather war. Fuck flies in this. Alright, here we go. Coming up to it now. I just like it over here because it's quite quiet. So you get a bit of peace and quiet before the bloody zombies all come over. Well, normally. I've not planned for this. I mean, normally I take some food and take a book. I mean, I've got that magazine, which is good. And hopefully, the. Uh, do I have a magazine? Yeah, I do have a magazine. There you go. So that's, that's alright for your sanity. Um, hopefully, the radio stations are still working. But it's the food. I do have my crisps, which is one good thing. And I got water, so that's alright. But you never know how long this bloody thing. zombies yet, so that's good. But they will come. They bloody always come.
hoping it's far enough away now so the zombies that are on the other side of my base shouldn't be attracted to my base. Well, I hope. But I, I, I th it does attract zombies from really far, so I don't know. I just hope. And hopefully the fucking fog will be gone by the time. Hopefully the helicopter and the fog will fuck off at the same time, basically. That's what we're hoping for. May as well read this when I'm sorry. This has been perfect if I had more books. that he's gone. Right, I'm going to speed up time. Yep, little prick. Fuck it, just keep it fast forward. Should slow down time automatically if a zombie pops up, so that's one good thing. Well, that's because I turned the camera then. Yeah, he's a little fucker. I bet he's not gone yet. He's still just fucking lingering. Oh, the fog's going. Has he and the fog both fucked off at the same time? Be a dream come true. Hey, oh shit, I see you. been down here. Have a quick look because I can't do much else for the day unfortunately.
football stadium. seems to have followed the van, so that's good. Zombie over that side of that building. Crouch down. <coughs> Crouch down. I should just take all of this stuff, really. I might just take it all. Stick it in the van for now. I don't know what the fucking hell use of leaf rake's gonna be for me, but... So, oh yeah, yeah, I know there's a new build of the game coming out soon, so I don't know what's gonna happen with there's a zombie over there. Um, what's gonna happen, whether it's gonna just update this current game and let me continue or if I'd have to start all over again. Not a big deal if I do, I haven't got that far really. Um, and I'd probably just get back to where I basically got here and then <coughs> and then continue to record. I mean, I'm not sure how much is going to change. I think it's quite a lot happening in the next build, but uh, I don't know for sure. I try not to look too much into it or like the like to find out when it comes out. Keeps it a bit more of a like, ooh, what's this? Instead of being like, oh yeah, it's that, 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 and that. So I intend to find out what they've added when they release it. So that will be interesting to see what they have. The one thing I have, no I did sort of notice, I think basements or something like that. So that'd be interesting to be able to go underground. Seems like a bloody death wish, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I suppose if you've already got, like, a secure base, you could just have it right in the middle. I don't know, you just... storage or something. I mean, one entrance, or, or you know, two, like, an entrance and an emergency exit just seems a bit... Because it's probably going to be, like, a narrow bloody door, like, just a set of stairs to get in and out. So it's going to be... Mm, whether they let you climb ladders, because I don't think you can climb ladders in this yet. So I have come across some ladders and I ain't been able to climb them. So I was like, well that's the perfect place, just climb up on top of this little silo and they can't get you, but you can't climb, so... Whether they'll introduce that. Ah, oh, drag racing. No, 
Am I not gonna set a fucking alarm off? Seriously. It's not gonna be anything in there, but just don't fuck it. <laughs> so what a weird thing to put in the game. Not bad that they put it in here, don't get me wrong. It's quite cool that they have, but it's just <laughs> it's just funny. Just if they put drag, drag cars in, like they wouldn't, because obviously the regulars take them off after they did the race. But if this all happened mid sort of drag race, pointless. You can't really turn the fucking things. You have to just go straight forward. But they're going to just be like a sweet fuck all in there um, just like a caravan or like a trader you know um, like I have back at my base or it'll be something they've converted into like an office and there'll be sweet fuck all in there right well this was a bit of a flop I mean it got some stuff don't get me wrong but Gas can. Oh, I should have took that. Take it, 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 Imagine if you could just climb, well, you just climb it, wouldn't you? Where the fuck does that even go? No, it's not a ladder. Jesus, the road fucking markets. <laughs> I thought it was a ladder. Dear God, I was like, a ladder to nowhere. Right, um, yeah, but even if it was a ladder, you wouldn't be able to climb the fucking thing. That looked like a fucking ladder, right? That looks like a fucking ladder. Completely crazy. That's like a book van. Could be a book van. I just need to know is the problem. It's gonna be fuck all in there. Oh, I 
empty gas cans. It'll be handy, but it's not worth dying over. Books, however, I would have probably died trying to get the books. Right, that's right. But at least I know there's two in there. Could come in handy. I wish there was like a gas tanker. I'd just be able to take that and park it up. I think there are in um, modded games, <coughs> but I don't really want to play with mods. Off. Axe, gas can, leather gloves, oh, see. Some good vehicles then. If I could uh, finally learn to hot wire cars. Space bars break, but I don't know if it. I mean, I presume it would just destroy your tires. So I try not to do that. I just try to swerve. But I think that probably also ruins your tires or your suspension, maybe. I don't know how the car, how the game uh, can wear and tear. These things we take note of everything something and take note of it again, but that's too much hassle for me to be doing. Right, now fingers crossed, uh, my base is still nice and empty. It should be, because it is quite Obviously, it's surrounded by fences, and it's just two entrances, but it does mean that, from what I understand, because they are open entrances, any zombie, say, trying to get from the north in would walk around to the east or west and go through one of these, rather than break its way in. <coughs> I believe that's how, it's, how it works. Whereas if I... If there was no entrance altogether, oh, that's because I'm talking, if I sealed it all off, they'd break their way in because there's no entrance. So they might have walked in, that's what I'm trying to get at. But uh, this is just me speculating. 
they might just break their way through even if the door is open. Right, gas cans. I've got some more of these, so that's handy. Some more bourbon, that'd be good. As long as I got disinfectant, I'll just use it for, mo for molotovs. But uh, if I don't have disinfectant, it's handy for bandages. But then you got to think really how you got to be quite lucky to survive whenever you get bitten or any. Well, if you get bitten, you're fucked. But so it's it's how many bandages do you think you'll go through really? You could probably get away with sterilizing ten maybe. And I'd have thought if you ended up needing more, then you're you're very lucky. Like if you use them and then survive whatever it is you've needed 10 bandages for and then yeah I think you're quite lucky well I say that in my other playthrough I uh <laughs> I washed all my clothes but took everything off was just walking around in my boxers so I was like okay so I put I put my sh socks and shoes on well I didn't I thought I did but I just put the socks on so then I was walking around with just socks and climbed through a a broken window, which I, I took the glass off the window. I just didn't pick the glass up off the floor. And because I was just in socks, it lacerated, like it shredded both of my feet. So that was fucked because I was all the way over at the bloody the trailer. And all the medical supplies I had were like over here because I hadn't bothered to yet again put everything together so I had to like walk my ass over here bleeding out because I was like I don't really want to well I, I stuck two rags on it but I was like I need to get sterilized stuff I still had the glass in there because I didn't have any tweezers so I got over here there wouldn't there wasn't any tweezers in here so I had to get the glass out with my fingers which made it even fucking worse yeah so but yeah but um yeah, then it got infected and everything, but I managed to get it, I managed to actually get it all stitched up, disinfected and that. It did have a little infection, but he managed to survive it and keep both of his feet. So that was, so, so you can, and I, like his first aid was going, without using a book mind, it was pretty much up to like 70 on the other character. Just from the amount of accidents I've had, because I'm so stupid, and he survived. So you you can use more than ten bandages is what I'm saying and in like a game. But it depends on the situation. If you're if that would have been from zombie attacks, it would have been a different situation because it was me being stupid and walking on broken glass. Which I presume was clean glass. It only got like infected, not zombie infected type thing. So yeah, that was that was fun. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "You put your shoes back on, didn't you?" But I was like, "No, he, he put them. He picked them up and put them in his in his like inventory." But then I must have moved, thinking he'd put them on, but he hadn't. He just picked them up. Yeah. So that was that was an adventure. I was like, "Why? Why is he? Why the fuck's his feet bleeding? Like, what the fuck is going on?" Oh, don't make any fucking sense. He's never bled before when I've walked over it. And I was like, oh yeah, you ain't got your f fucking shoes on. Ugh. And I was like, if he died, or <laughs> if he, like, loses both his... Oh, I'd, I'd have carried on, mind. I don't know what happens. I presume you lose both your feet. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. If the infection would have... Well, I suppose the infection would have just caught on and like killed you but I, th I mean can you cut your fucking feet off I presume not you'd be pretty fucked but they've got crawling zombies in the game so there's like a crawling mechanic so I don't know but yeah I'd have, I'd have probably carried on just crawl, crawl around but yeah that was that was fun so if you do ever take your shoes off make sure you put your shoes back on because the, the stress because I mean literally in the walk over there his bandages got dirty like like there and then he had to change them but I didn't really have any more clues to keep ripping off and it, so he had to keep having dirty bandages on and it was like oh this is all adding to his chance of fucking infection and I'm like oh god what a way to go 
Luckily I wasn't recording because I don't think I'd have posted it because it looks so bad. Or makes me look so bad. I mean I know it looked bad but that made me look real bad. Which I clearly am. Otherwise I wouldn't have did it in the first fucking place. But Yeah. It's, it's all fun and games and projects on board. If it's not the zombies that kill you, it's your own fucking stupidity, usually. Right. So there is plenty of, like, I mean, that helicopter just fucked my day up, basically. I had so much planned. Well, so much planned. It was literally going to go and investigate this area. So, yeah, it's quite good, because you come in, like, here. Go around. All around. And then it's one long road back up. So it's quite good. You can park over there, check out the stuff. So that, that's what I'm going to end up having to do tomorrow. So It's not been a total loss. I did get a van full, uh, filled it with gas. We have had the helicopter now, so at least that's something. You don't have to worry about it happening again, because I've only got it set to the once. I mean, it's set default is bloody once, so I don't know. I don't know. It seems it's a weird thing, having the helicopter in the game. I get it in a sense. It's sort of like there's other survivors, like the military is still around, but then... As default, maybe it comes... Like a couple, like a couple of times? I don't know. It just makes it seem like they come over, see you, and then they get wiped out, I presume. But, um, I, I know they have plans for, uh, NPCs. Or they always have had plans for NPCs. I don't know how it would work. Whether they'd... Well, I, I, I presume they'd go for, like, you'd have police officers still, maybe some military still. Civilians. And then whether you'd have some kind of raiders, maybe. I mean, that's... That's a bit like I know that is in this real situation that like I mean the Walking Dead do make it I mean they obviously go a bit crazy with it, but they are right like correct in a way. The zombies are a bit of a side thing. It's how the humans would deal with it. And they would end up just going You'd like to think they wouldn't, but I mean you look at the world now when this isn't a thing. When just this this situation they'd all go fucking mental like they do in The Walking Dead and they would just so your biggest problem would be dealing with other survivors which in here I don't know how that would work whether they'd whether every so often you just get a random dude run into your base try and kill you I suppose or just try to I don't know because I mean State of Decay I don't know if you've ever played that that sort of had a bit of a bit of that going on where you'd um, you'd get like bad survivors, but in in that game that was still quite basic. They just sit in their house pretty much and shoot you through the window. Um, so they, yeah, I don't know. It'd be a bugger. It'd just be something to get used to. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, they'd have the option to turn it on and off anyway. But I, it, if it came as default as on, I'd have it on. It'd just be interesting to see. It'd be a bloody annoying though if they get... I suppose they'd get to use guns though, so... I don't know. Because I know it, you get like tweezers and it says... Like used for getting bullets and stuff out of you, which obviously makes sense. So... I put... Where the fuck did I put it all? Oh, it's in one of these. So, I presume... You, um... They, they had some plan... Or have still have some plan to put the uh, extract broken glass and bullets from the body. So they presume they have a plan to in introduce people with guns shooting at you. So I mean, I don't know. That's just going to come down to how good they make the enemy AI, really. Because it's not hard to miss with the guns in this game, even at a basic level. If it's a shotgun, you just point at them, they turn green, and they hit you, whether it just make it so the uh, the AI is more likely to just shoot you when it's red, 
so there's less chance of hitting you, but there's still a fucking chance of it hitting you. And what are you going to do? Just go, I don't know, I just don't know. It just seems like it's going to be such a hard game to survive getting shot in, because you're going to get shot, you're going to what, fucking chuck a bandage on yourself and then <laughs> run to your car? You're going to have to always have a medical kit with you. If there's going to be survivors in towns and stuff with fucking guns. So you're always going to have to make sure you've got scissors, a needle, the thread, which I never fucking... That's the other problem I had when I fucked my feet up. I didn't have any thread. I was like, shit, I didn't even think about the thread. So I had to start finding zombies, tearing all their clothes apart to get the little bits of thread you get, just to sew my fucking feet up. So that's the thing you got to think about. Right? It just seems crazy. I mean, it'd be handy, obviously, because you get bulletproof vests, so... It'd make a use for it. You know, make a use for it. It does seem like you're going to start getting shot at in this game. You know? So, so it's going to be something. I don't think they'll introduce it in the next build, but... I, c I can see it's going that way. Which I don't, I don't mind completely at all, really. It's, it's more P, like when you get real players PvP, that's when it gets a bit annoying. Because people are worse than bloody AI for just being assholes. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see, because I mean, especially if they turn up in like twos or threes, like a group of them. Like, maybe two of them's got a gun, one's got a crowbar or something. You're like, well... I mean, you'd have to use your guns. It makes sense that's why you have guns, then. Because you don't really need to use a gun now with the zombies. You do it more for the fun. Um, so it would be a... make make sense why you would have to use a gun. Which then brings on the whole issue of you're then attracting more zombies. So it will... F it could shake it up a little because at the moment you can I mean you could sit here I could sit here now and pretty much never have to leave my base um, and grow crops and then get the water out of the lake I got a barbecue there's some trees growing be a bit of an ass a hassle once my axe breaks but by then you could get your foraging up and look for stones and build your own hand axe so you you could literally live here now and never have to leave this place. So it would make it a bit more, ooh. You know, you, don't get me wrong, you would get the old zombie crawler turn up, but it wouldn't be as bad as you could sat here nice and settled and then two blokes with shotguns turn up and then you've got to fight them off so you've got to shoot your shotgun, which then causes shit tons of zombies to turn up. So it's, it would shake things up a little bit. It'd be interesting to see what they do. I do love this game. There's, as long as you can sort of find something for yourself to do in it, because there's no specific story. That's why I decided to put the zombies on no respawns. So in a way, it would be nice to, I mean, to clear the whole map would be impossible, because even though I got them urban focused, they'd still be in the, in the bloody trees. So even if you tried to just sort of clear, say, this place, that's an impo it's not going to happen because look at the amount of it but you could give yourself a goal because at least once all the zombies are spawned in no more are going to spawn in you'll just get ones come over so that's good that's like uh, something you could do as a game like a, a goal for the game it's just you got to find things for yourself to do other than just survive but I mean that's that's a hard enough challenge in this bloody game anyway but yes there we go we'll leave that for that leave that there for there for now and um like I say tomorrow when I play I will head back down to where I tried to go today. I might even stop off over there and check out that lorry, that little truck, see what's um if he's usable. But yes, right, thank you all. And I will see you all again. Alright? Take care.